What do we do every week? We're going to do the number of the day today. Today, we are going to use number 60. How do you write number 60? Six zero. Yeah, six zero. How do you spell 60? On your paper, you will put the number of the day, six zero. On the first line, after the comma, you will spell the number for today on the next line. Okay, go ahead and do that. After you write the number six zero and you spell the word sixty, put your pencil down so I can see who is ready. <laughs> After you have finished that, put your pencil down. Six zero and spell. Good. Okay. Okay. So we're going to count. In the first box, first of all, how many boxes on your paper? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to start with the box where you count. And we count by five. You're right. What do we call that? What is the word? Do you remember? Remember the word tally? Yeah, tally. So we are going to put tallies in the first box. We will count to 60 with the tallies. So you have got your box, right? We're going to put them in your tally box, okay? Let's count our tallies up to 60. Ready? One, One two, three, four, five. All right, so we have five. Let's count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inside the coin. 
What is 25 plus 25? Infinity. What is 50 plus 10? 60 cents. Are many different uh, ways you can put coins together to equal 60 cents. You will get one bag. There is one penny, one nickel, one dime, one quarter in your bag. I want you to put the coin that you're going to use Put it on your paper. When you put the quarter on your paper, draw a circle around the coin with your pencil. Okay. Only 60 cents. All right. I want you to see the size of the coin by, by drawing a circle around the actual coin. Don't just make a circle. Two Remember, put the number inside the circle to say how much money it is. What is 25 plus 25? 50 plus 5? Very good. So after you are finished with your coins, put the coins in the bag, roll the bag, and close the bag. I see a problem. I see three or four people. They have their coins, four yeah. coins, yeah. and they drew four yeah. coins. Okay. 25 and 10 and 5 and 1. Hmm. But that's only 41. Okay. I want you to take what coins you need to equal 60, not 41 cents. And now we're going to look in the box where you see the number 60. Where do you see the number 60? The clock. On the clock. Yeah. And it starts by saying, I see, right? And you will finish with your pencil and say, I see 60 minutes. Uh, in one hour? All right, let's say that. In one hour. So you have, I see, now you're going to write in yellow, 60 minutes, 60 minutes, in one hour. Okay, when you're finished, put your pencil down. More or less. What do you see up here? You see numbers? Yeah. Numbers? Yeah. Can you see the red numbers? Ten. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. So, number sixty. Do you see it right here? Is this our number today? 60. Okay. What numbers are more than 60? 61. 61 is more than 60. 62. 62 is more than 60. 70. 70. 64. 75. 75, right? What numbers are less than 60? 59. Yellow. 59. 59. 59. 55. 55. Sure. 30. 29. 39. 39. Good. Okay. And on your paper, you will pick one number in your mind, in your head. That is more than 60. And you will write it on the line that says more. Put one number. Yep, right there. One number on the line that says more. On the line that is less than 60, think of one number that is smaller or less than 60. Write 84. That's more than 60. On your paper, you have 
two lines over here. Take your pencil and we're going to put the number 60 for today on these two lines uh, at the end of the two sentences. So number 60 is our number for today. You will write number 60 on this line and on this line at the end of each sentence. Now you are going to put your number that is more than 60. You will put your number here. Go to the next number that you have that is less and that number you will put in the next sentence. So now we've got less than, so the number you have up here that is less, let's say we got number 70, is more. What number, doll, do you have that is less than 60? Um, 55. 55. If you have number 55 here, you put that number down here to read the sentence that says 55 is less than 60. Very good. First, we're going to add numbers to 60. And you have a box. Maybe we'll do four. Four problems. We're going to start with the number of the day. So we're going to start with number 60. Okay, go ahead with your pencil and you write number 60. And let's add one number together. Let's do the math. 60 plus 10. How do I read this in English? We say 60 plus 10 equals equal. Yeah, we're going to say the word equal. This line equals what answer? 70. And let's do another add problem, addition problem. So we'll start with the number of the day, 60, plus, give me a different number you have on your paper. Any number, 5. All right, Abdullahi says, let's add 5. What is 60 plus 5? 65. 65. Let's read in English. How do we say this? 60 plus 5 equals 65. 60 plus, what do you have? 3 zero. Okay. And what is 60 plus 30? 60 plus 30 equals 90. Good. Now, see if you can do one more problem on your paper. Now we're going to do the opposite. Let's subtract. All right, we have five minutes. Let's try and subtract. Our numbers from 60, we're going to start with the number 60 again, but we're going to subtract 60 minus 55. All right. On your paper, in the last, yep, subtract, you're going to write 60 minus 55 equals 5. 60 minus 15. Remember, you're going to line up those numbers underneath each one. 60 minus 15 equals 45. I want you to come down here and I want you to do two more on your own. Okay? Nice job. I saw some good numbers down here. 60 minus 59. I saw 60 minus 2. 60 minus 16. 
60 minus 4, so lots of good answers that you had down here. Circle those four answers.